Hey guys, it's Aaron. I want to take a look today at using intersect faces with hidden geometry. Before we go any further, credit where credit is due. This is an idea that came out of a GIF posted on Facebook by for a member box. If you don't follow box and you're on Facebook, you owe it to yourself, check it out. He posts GIFs of different ways to create art, but also ways to efficiently use SketchUp that are, they're awesome. They, they boil it down to the fewest clicks. They're super easy to follow, check that out. Um, but he posted something about how people don't think about how you can actually use intersect with uh, geometry that's not visible. So I kind of whipped up a little example to kind of share his knowledge. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is my imaginary scenario. I have maybe, this is the footprint of a deck I'm building, and then these are emulating the walls of the house on the back, um, kind of a unique shape. Um, and here I have this grouped, this is one, one deck board. The rest of this geometry is currently not grouped. And I just did that on purpose to take uh, solid tools out of the equation. Ideally, the, the solution here would be using solid tools to intersect, but I would say for whatever reason, this isn't modeled as a solid, uh, I don't know, maybe it was, uh, I had messy geometry or something. The ideal goal, of course, is your modeling would be to model everything as solid members if you can, but for whatever reason, we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna take this board and I'm gonna move it. I'm just gonna grab it right here, move, use option to copy it down like this. I'm gonna say uh, 24X, give me a bunch of copies. All right, so now I have these groups in here. So, and these are these are groups, they're not components. That's intentional because obviously they're gonna to cut to different lengths. So I don't wanna use that. Um, a couple ways I could go about this. I could come right over here. I could draw a line from here to here, right? That's gonna be where it's gonna actually break. I'd have to go into context actually. I'd have to come into this board draw a line from here to here, and then maybe hide everything else. So I could go click here, view, um, hide rest of model. That'll give me just this. And then I could push, pull this down, this cut down. And now when I exit out, that's there. That's several steps. And I have to constantly toggle, do I wanna show everything else or not? Um, so here's a, here's a simpler solution. I'm gonna take this face, just this face, and I'm going to temporarily hide it. So it's gone, but it is hidden. I can always check if I come to view, view hidden geometry, it'll show me, okay, there's that, there's that mesh face. I still have it. So I'm gonna turn it off. What I can do now is I can actually come in here. I can right click this face, intersect with model. Even though that geometry is not, so it's not doing that now, but here, watch this. Right click, intersect face, So turning that, even though, so right now I can come in, I can drop that right down and push, pull it down and I can come to the next one, right click, intersect face with model and it's gonna cut to hidden geometry. And the nice thing about it, since it's hidden geometry, I can't select it, right? I can't, I can't actually do anything with it, but I can just come here, push, pull, drop this one right down and I can just move along here. Because each of these is gonna have a different cut, it's not as simple as, you know, using a component or something like that. But by having the hidden geometry means even though I can see it, I can see it by that mesh, I still not gonna interact with it. So yeah, I, I am gonna have to do this individually since each board is cut to a different length. I will have to come in here and, you know, intersect face with model and then push pull that down. I have to do that all the way down, but fact is it is pretty quick and easy. And again, I don't have to toggle things on and off. I can actually intersect that with geometry that's in the building, even though it's not visible. Over here on this end, um, it's a little more work. So right now, if I come in here and I say right click, intersect face uh, with model, even though these two pieces don't cross, so this face doesn't actually cross here, this face does share the same edge as the bottom face here. So what I can do is I can right click, intersect face with model, push, pull, pull that up. And I don't have to actually hide it in this case, but model or geometry budding up actually intersects geometry too. So I can do pretty much the same thing on this end, even though they don't cross. So a lot of times when people start thinking about intersect, they think about, you know, 
geometry has to fully cross through each other to intersect, but it's not necessarily the case. You can intersect with hidden geometry. You can intersect with geometry that butts up against a face and doesn't fully cross through. So using a step like this makes it, I mean, it's still a, a semi-manual process. You would probably be better off to model a cutter and use solid tools to just trim, 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 trim. But if there's a reason you can't, so if you do have geometry that's loose like this, it's not painful. It's a couple extra clicks, but it's fairly easy to go ahead and clean that up. So just a couple things to keep in mind there. Like I said, uh, a lot of times solid tools is a way to go. And, and there's probably an argument to me that that would have been quicker if I just done solid tools. But you can see how you can work within the situation. For whatever reason, I don't have solids there. Um, I can quickly and easily work with hidden geometry. And I can also work with geometry that butts up to and doesn't necessarily cross over other geometry. Again, full credit to Box for kind of highlighting that and showing it. And I just want to show some alternative workflows that kind of plug into the similar idea. I also realized I didn't leave space between the deck boards, but it was illustrative. So don't leave a bunch of comments about how I'm going to have drainage problems on my deck and warping and all that. We're good. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Most if not, all of our content nowadays is created based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.